Hi there, Richard Laubenberg here from Yellow Gazebo Natural Healthcare. I'm here today to show you how to use a foam roller. This is a foam roller. It's a large sized foam roller. You can get half sizes as well. The half sizes are just fine for our purposes. Uh, I like the full size because it's a little bigger and I can move around a little more on it. Um, we are going to roll our lower body and, uh, and our back. Um, you can also roll your chest, but, uh, but I find it's best for, for the parts that we're going to use. Okay, let's get started. So, your hamstrings. Your hamstrings uh, are often quite tight, and while this isn't the best way to loosen up your hamstrings, it is a good way, and I do recommend using more than a couple ways of loosening your hamstrings. Always just stretching your hamstrings one way is not going to get the best stretch, so try and find at least a couple. Um, we'll have more information on that in the uh, information section. Okay, so stretching your hamstrings really simply you're using your body weight as with any foam rolling exercises uh, exercise. I cross my legs to add a little more body weight. You might look a little funny doing this in the gym, especially if you're dressed in your uh, street clothes as am I. Uh, but keep in mind uh, the reason that I don't change into exercise gear for these videos is to emphasize the point that we can do this anywhere, anytime. You don't have to go to the gym to be in shape. You don't have to go to the gym to be free from pain. Okay, your IT band. This is great for runners and, well, people with pain in the side of their legs. Again, you want to roll to get your IT band. Roll right from the hip down to the knee. And you're looking for the sore spots. It's really like a type of massage. Okay, notice I have my one leg on top of the other. That's to add the body weight, so we get a little bit of pressure and get some uh, deep uh, massage there. Quads. Again, I'm going to cross the legs, and this is really great. You want to roll right up to the hips. Down at the knee, you're not going to get much, but down at the hips, you've got more body weight to, uh, to lay on there, and you're going to get a deeper massage in there. You can roll the groin as well. Although it's not quite as easy, it's harder to get that body weight, but you can get the inner, inner leg muscles uh, in there if you want. This one is my favorite, the back. I do this one, if I'm gonna do only one, I only have a minute to foam roll, it's the back. And it is awesome. And it's so easy too. Ah, oh, it feels great, especially in the lower back there. It's a good, Good pressure on there just from natural body weight. Uh, your glutes, um, I kind of lean to the side a bit. Again, looking for sore spots. This is another one that'll look a little funny at the gym, but who cares, what do they know? Uh, and lastly, your lats. Your lats are your um, back muscles, but more on the side. And the, this is a great one too, especially after you've been doing some rows or carrying your young child around. Oh, really good. You really want to find that sore spot. And for me, it's right in there. Um, if you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, please uh, feel free to email info at yellowgazeboclinic.com uh, or give us a call 416-909-2334. Feel good. Thanks and have a great day.